Let's go ahead and paint some textures onto our terrain. So again, make sure you have it selected in the hierarchy panel. And now we're going to want the paintbrush tool or paint texture. So it says to select a texture below, but we don't have any yet. So we imported some standard assets. You'll see that folder in your project panel. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I'm going to show you what they look like. So under standard assets, environment, terrain assets, if you click surface textures, these are the different standard ones that are included. So you have cliff, grass, mud, and sand. The cliff is the rocky one. So now we're just going to add these to our textures here. So you can't just click and drag, unfortunately. You have to click Edit Textures, Add Texture, Select, and now you can find the one you want. Notice you're kind of overwhelmed with the amount of pictures here. You just have to find those ones that we listed here. So it says Cliff. So I'll go ahead and either click and hit Enter or double click. That'll put it in here. Click Add. You'll go ahead and see it here. Now notice it puts it everywhere within the texture. Uh, if there's only one in this list, that's the one it's going to use to paint the entire terrain. As soon as we add more, we'll be able to, to be able to actually paint it on, just like a canvas you would in art class. You can paint on where you want it. So we'll go ahead and add more textures. Add, select, go ahead and pick my sand, add that one, oops, edit, add, do some grass, add texture, do some grass and rock, and which one are we missing? The mud, I think. There it is, mud rocky. Okay. So now I have these five different textures here that we can then go ahead and paint. So I'm going to go ahead and take my sand, and the target strength is how, uh, how much of it you're going to see as you paint over it, and the opacity is how quick it's going to change the texture. So again, I'm going to change it down to opacity of 10. And now I'm just going to go around, and just like a paintbrush, and paint some sand in where I want it on my island. So all the beach is going to be close to where the water is. So I'm going to go through and put in my, my sand. All right. If you want the mountains to look a little bit more mountainous, normally there's some greenery around the base of the mountains, so you can paint that in. And then maybe I want the top of the mountains to look a little bit different than the bottom. So I can go in and paint the tops of the mountains there so they look a little bit different. All right, it's totally up to you. Uh, we're definitely going to put some foliage in the game, so maybe if you want to put in some different uh, textures for where the trees are going to go, that might look kind of cool. And some more techniques I want to show you before I end this tutorial is, so now there's like totally distinct spots on my island where I've painted. To actually break it up a little bit, you can use one of these other brushes that are a little bit splotty. Increase the brush size decrease the target strength, and then you can actually mesh textures together. So let me target strength about 50%, keep the opacity the same. I'm going to mesh some of the sand and grass together. So here, there's a fine line between the two textures. If I take my sand, and now I just kind of splotch over it, okay, you can kind of see where the two textures are blending together. To be honest, that's even a little bit too much opacity. Increase the target strength here. So you can see where the sand now kind of blends in with the grass and I could do the same thing here. Maybe I want to splotch dirt over here, so and so forth. If you want to import your own textures to use, if these aren't enough to get that random effect throughout your map, uh, you can grab textures from, oh, from Google. So if you open up Google Images, I just went ahead and did one for sand, so seamless sand texture, power two. I'm actually going to change that. Let's try some snow. All right. Since we're not going to monetize on this project, it should be fine, but you always want to be careful while doing this. So I'll just look at this first one here, 420 by 420. Not necessarily a power of two, so it is a square. All right. Save image as. Make sure you save it in a place where you know where it is. I'm going to save it in R project folder, final project, assets, and now we need a new folder for textures, because these are our own textures. 
and as soon as I save it in there, since it is in our project folder, if I come back to Unity, it's going to take a minute. Actually, it didn't even take very long at all. If I look in here, there's that new folder we created, and then here's our snow texture. I'm just going to rename it so it looks a little bit better. All right, so I'll go ahead and add that to the texture list. There it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and splotch this on for the tops of my mountains. Decrease my breast size. And there we go. Starting to get a little snow look to it. All right, go ahead and play around with, with what you want. I'll fast forward to when I'm done actually creating the train here. There's my terrain all painted and ready to go. Make sure you give it a quick save and save project so you don't lose your work. We're ready to add some foliage.